What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Oscar recap. Not a preface, there was a lot of controversy surrounding the Oscars about the white washing of Hollywood, but I'm here for the movies, so let's talk about that. First, a massive upset for the best picture going to Spotlight, which beat Revenant and fan favorite The Martian. Spotlight shows the Boston Globe's investigative reporting unit uncovered massive and systemic sexual abuse by Catholic priests. Now, I haven't personally <laughs> seen this movie, actually, but it sounds super, super interesting, and I definitely want to now, especially knowing of the award that it got. Best Actress went to Brie Larson for The Room, a fantastic movie. It's a bit depressing, but moving. Room is about Joy and Jack, a mother and son, having been kept captive for seven years in a shed by Jack's father. Joy does her best to convince Jack that the only room that they live in, their room, is the only thing that's real, and that there's no outside world, until their captor informs Joy that he may not be able to provide food for them anymore. So Joy has to find a way out. If you don't recognize her, Brie Larson was the high school girl Molly in 21 Jump Street. I thought that was really cool. So I'm glad she's finally getting her chance you know, in the, in the big leagues. But for the moment, everyone has been waiting for Leonardo DiCaprio has won his first Oscar. Now, Leo has won a plethora of Golden Globes before, AFIs, MTV Movie Awards for things like Aviator, Wolf of Wall Street, Great Gatsby, and like a bunch of other stuff. But this is his first Oscar win. As you might know, Leonardo has become like an internet sensation for his track record of like amazing movies and acting performances, but never an Oscar win. So it goes down in history that the meme is over, Leo fans can rest in peace. Personally though, I thought Eddie Redmayne really had a good chance, I, but he won last year for Theory of Everything, so let's give Leo his chance. But Mad Max Fury Road was the big winner Sunday night, taking home six Oscars for costume design, makeup and hair, production design, film editing, sound editing, and sound mixing. The great thing about Mad Max is that over 80% of the effects in the movie are practical effects, meaning like no CGI. Stunts and effects deemed practical are created from scratch and in person. All the explosions and stuff you see are real. That takes a lot of work, and I'm glad more movies with practical effects such as that and The Revenant are getting more recognition in big awards. Revenant, the movie Leo won for, was shot entirely in natural lighting and in sequence, meaning like when it's shot in sequence, the movie is shot in the order of the scenes that you see, which is never done and extremely time consuming. Now to no one's surprise, Inside Out won Best Animated Feature, of course. Walt Disney Pictures, or Pixar, has won 10 of the 15 Oscars since the category was created in 2002. And they have, I mean, countless other awards for shorts, music, editing, and so on. And with two more greatly anticipated animated Disney movies coming out this year, Zootopia coming out tomorrow, actually, and Mona, Moana, excuse me, uh, that's later this fall, the next Disney princess, I mean, one's destined to win next year's award as well. What I'm mainly upset about is of all the obscure editing and music-related awards, Star Wars didn't get a single thing. I mean, I was rooting for John Williams for Best Original Score. I mean, we can all agree, Star Wars music is like the most amazing music ever in all of history. All in all, when it comes down to it, I'm pleased with the main five. I would have liked to see The Martian get some more recognition, but best picture this year, it was definitely difficult. There was a lot of good nominees, but I'm happy. What did you think? I hope you enjoyed my opinions. Take time to watch some of these winners if you haven't seen them yet.